Hi, I'm PH and welcome to Good Bible Knowledge with PhD. In this set of videos, I hope to provide answers to common questions about the Bible in a fun and creative way. And I hope these videos will be helpful in your own spiritual journey in Jesus. Let's get started. Who is Elisha? The life and ministry of the prophet Elisha is recorded in the book of 2 Kings. Elisha, the son of Shaphat, was a simple farmer and he was plowing his fields when he was called by God to carry on the ministry of one of the greatest prophets in the history of Israel, Elijah, during one of the darkest periods in Israel's history. Elisha lived in the 9th century BC in the northern kingdom of Israel. The northern kingdom of Israel was marked by idolatry and rebellion against the Lord. Rulers such as Ahab and Jezebel sought to extinguish the worship of God altogether by murdering every one of God's prophets. And yet courageous men like Elijah and Elisha faithfully spoke for God and continued to call God's people to humbly return to the Lord. Elisha was not as brash or outspoken as his predecessor Elijah, but Elisha had a powerful ministry from 850 to 800 BC that spanned the reigns of four different kings, Jehoram, Jehu, Jehoahaz, and Jehoash. Elisha's name is a combination of two Hebrew words, Eli, which means my God, and Shah, which means saves. Together his name means my God is salvation. In a sense, the life and ministry of Elisha is a wonderful example of the incredible depth and scope of God's salvific work. The Bible depicts Elisha not just as a prophet who simply preached a public message. Rather, the Bible portrays Elisha primarily as a man of God who served the people. Elisha served in the high places, touching state affairs as a valued advisor to kings. His reputation for the Lord was so well established that the kings of Israel, Judah, and Edom all sought his guidance. At the same time, Elisha ministered to individuals on the very fringe of society, as he miraculously provided for all the financial needs for a desperate woman who had just lost her husband and was in danger of losing her two children to a creditor. Elijah served as the caretaker of the sons of the prophets who were faithfully involved in the ministry of the Lord, providing food during a famine, and even recovering an axe head that was lost in the Jordan River. Elisha also ministered to the foreigner as he healed a man called Naaman, a high commander in the foreign army of Syria. In the end, next to Jesus, Elisha performed the most miracles recorded in the Bible. And he is a beautiful example of the many dimensions of the salvation of God. In the coming videos, we will look more closely at the life of Elisha. But as we begin, what can we learn from this faithful servant of God? Elisha is a treasured picture of the very heart of God. In Elisha, we're reminded that the gospel, the good news of Jesus, is not just for the important people in the world. It's for everyone. God is seeking all, calling everyone to find the joy of his salvation from the powerful in this world to the very least in this world. God's love extends to the acceptable of society as well as to the rejected and the forgotten. His salvation is meant for everyone, from the familiar to the foreigner. Through Elisha, we see that the love of God and his great salvation was meant for everyone. And the message of the gospel is ultimately about God reaching down from heaven to love people where they're at, in their needs, in their fears, and in their feelings of hopelessness. And God is calling his people to continue like Elisha, to be the voice and the hands of God to a world in desperate need of his hope and salvation. Thanks for listening to another episode of Good Bible Knowledge. We'll see you next time.